Hello grade fours, I hope you guys are all well wherever you are and you guys are staying safe during this time. Uh, welcome to your first online or oh, first video with me. Today we're going to do side views and plan views. It's very short and quick but also easy. So I'm going to make it even easier for you to understand. Please can you turn to page 24 and 25 in your textbooks. Okay, we are going to be doing side views and plan views. Okay, the first thing we need to know is a point of view. What is a point of view? A point of view is some is when you look at something, where you are standing or how you are looking at them is called your point of view. So if you are standing in front of something, you, that's your point of view. For example, I'm sitting in front of my laptop screen um, and I'm looking at the front of my laptop. I'm not looking at the top, I'm looking at the front. However, if I stand up and I look down, I'm looking at the top of my laptop. Okay, if you stand up right now and you look at your toes, uh, or whether you're wearing shoes or socks, I don't know, and you look at your feet, you look down, that is your point of view of your feet. Okay, if you look to the side and you look to your right hand side, whatever is on your right hand side, that's your point of view from it. Okay, so anything you look at from where you are looking at or viewing them, that is called your point of view. Okay, the first view we're going to learn about is our side view. So when we look at something from a side, we obviously call it a side view. Now, if you look at our little giraffe over there, his name is Bean, okay? Bean is my friend, and some of you may think that there's four different giraffes, but there isn't. That is just Bean, he's standing there alone, but we've taken photos of him from different views. So we've got the right side of him, we've got the front, we've got his back, and then we've got his left, okay? So those are all the different side views of our giraffe named Bean. So when you look at something from the side, it's a side view. Okay, then we have plan view. Another name for plan view is aerial view. And there you guys have learned something else. Now, aerial view is when you look at something from above. Remember when I told you to stand up and look at your toes, look at your feet? That was your plan view of your feet. Okay, think of you sitting in an airplane. Okay, let's say we're going to catch a flight to Durban and you look out the window and you look down as the airplane lifts off and you can see how the houses and everything get smaller. You are looking at the plan view around you of what is underneath you, okay? So you can see where the, where the shops are, where the houses are. You can see how the land is planned out. Okay, look at the picture of this little town. This map gives us a plan view of the little town. Okay, so it looks like maybe a shopping mall or something. With the car park, we can see how the road is planned out, how all the trees are planned out, and everything there is planned out. Okay, because we are looking at it from above, from on top. So if you stand up and you look down at your feet, you are looking at your feet from on top of your feet. Okay, or if you are sitting down and you look down at your book, you are looking down. You are looking at you are looking down from on top. So that is your plan view or your aerial view. Super easy. And that's all. Great job, guys. Now you can complete the activities on pages 24 and 25. Activity 1 on page 24 shows you two different views of certain objects. Talk about them, maybe in pencil, join them up if you can tell which one is the top view and which one is the bottom view. And then if you look on page 25, the activity there has two pictures. There's a photograph and then there's a it looks like a like a plan, a plan of a classroom. So you are going to compare the two pictures and you are going to talk about it in the activity. Remember to work neatly and give me the most beautiful work you can. Okay, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye guys and stay safe.